back courts to eternal darkness, Sanity's Requiem. And last time, um, Pius kind of died and um, didn't look very good. Okay. Alex can now read this page, apparently. It's a chapter page from a tome. Um, if I have to. The Binding of a Corpse God. Do I really have to read this? Fine. Let's read it. So I can already hear some whisperings just by touching this page. It's not good. Well, before we do anything, best save it. Alex Roivas. Yes, I do. And it shows us doing uh, that guy previously. Pious. So, um, let's use the binding of a corpse god. I cannot say what was the true beginning, nor am I sure of its end. So perhaps here is the best place to start. I am reminded of ideas I first encountered in Sir James George Fraser's book, The Golden Bough, a study in magic and religion. We are overwhelmed by a very human need to weave a web of meaning where there may be none. Since time immemorial, ancient peoples have dressed up their lack of knowledge as gods and demons. I have discovered that sometimes the fates of gods and mortals intertwine and legends are born. Thy time is done, great ancient. Forever in shadow will you be master of chaos. And to fade to nothing in obscurity will be thy fate. My master has planned many millennia for this day. It is the true chaos of all things that you now must be entombed amongst the, the beings, beings of flesh and bone. bone. You have a great monument here, Mantrock. It is a pity that no one will ever recognize it as yours. May the darkness claim the thwarting chaos and damn beast! No longer will thy reign be kept over the ancients you have kept imprisoned. Thou hast seen the last of this world. Know what's going on here. Not even these mythical fables can keep me amused. There has to be something to do around here. I only wish something that fantastic and of higher purpose could happen to me. You don't want it to. Trust me, I'll miss you. Do not want it to. And, uh, okay. We're stuck in here. Brilliant. What's this? Oh, it's that thing that was above the fireplace. It's much clearer now, though. So yeah, um, those three colours are probably those three colours of the statue things that we chose, but there's also that purple one in the middle. And um, that pious guy was just using one of them. Hello. Why not? Okay. Oh, we can heal ourselves with this. Awesome. Let's go. Well done. So we have ten uses of this, and it's got some uh, magical carvings on it. Awesome. 
Oh, this is our short sword. Great. Hey, what I wanted to do was... Where's options? Display. One, two, three, four, five. Clip five more up. Because it looks like I can't really see what I'm doing anymore. So, let's try not to die here. Um, we keep treading on more of these things, but nothing's happening. Well, I'm not one to argue, I suppose. Let's just go this way. Yes, we avoided treading on some, so we don't have to fight those other things. Great. And we're stuck. Really. Oh, no. A sanity loss occurs. This is sanity. Yup. Our character's sanity. The meter represents a character's sanity. Every time he slash she... Can't be too sexist, I suppose. Meets a monster, his slash her sanity will get lower. The lower the sanity meter gets, the more the character will hallucinate. Yes. Hallucinate. This is going to make the game really freaky. Yep, if you kill with a finishing move, then it restores sanity. We aren't going to do it. Nope, we are not going to restore our sanity. Why? Because then I'll start getting really scared, won't I? Huh. Okay, let's turn off that one. Because the sun's in the middle, so let's have the middle lighted up. And we've slightly opened up that. So yes, um, sanity will um, start affecting how much your character starts to hallucinate because they start going insane because unlike Pius, not everyone is that steel compared when they're facing armies of weird walking corpses and the like. Also, unlike all Resident Evil characters. Let's just um, avoid treading on any of these things. Do to do, hello, random corpse. Oh, yeah, of course, nothing up there. Let's go this way, avoid. Oh, I tried on him. Brilliant. And let's just run. No, go away. Stop scaring my character. Ow. Yeah, there's going to be one major drawback though with what I'm doing, as well as of course me starting to get really scared, it's going to be how, um... Oh, okay. I thought I was supposed to do the, um, use all of those things. Well, since I'm here now, we can use the bronze necklace, rather than our magical one. And my door will open back up, so we can go through. Yay. Um, what's that sound? I... Um, okay, that sounded like some sort of r rattling chains. I think that was a sanity effect. I think it was, yeah. Um, like we said, you start to hallucinate, and we just heard loads of rattling chains. Okay, that's kind of freaky. Let's just keep going. Whoa. Well, I'm lucky that I missed that. Oh, again? Oh, go away. This is, um, a red one. The previous one before was green. Remember that there are different colours of those um, statue things? They relate to different ones of these. This red one takes a hell of a lot of beating and does a lot of damage. However, it doesn't affect your sanity as much. Okay, well what I'm supposed to do here would be to extinguish all of them, because there's nothing on. 
And now we can't see a thing. Thank you, game. Oh, but we finally opened up all these doors now. Great. Yep, we can continue. Good. Um, which way am I going again? Map. So we want to go down here, I suppose. This is the right way, isn't it? Yep, good. Let's just avoid treading on these pressure points, because that would be stupid. What's over here? Nothing? Okay. What's over here? What's this? A blowgun! As long as if I don't lose my sword, then I'll take an extra weapon. Great. Well, at least you landed well, but your sword broke. Yup, it is. Very perceptive. Oh, there's someone alive! Someone alive, someone alive, there's someone alive over there. Okay, that's bad. Um, we're starting to hear really weird things. Go away. Please, please, stop it. Stop it. Go away, go away. Okay, the blowgun isn't killing it. Um. Hello, my friend. Oh, really? Awesome. Uh. Okay, we're, we're really injured, apparently. Not that injured. Um, but she's starting to go quite crazy. Yeah, that's some really great, that's some really freaky sounds. Oh. Oh, you can cast magic. And we got a sword. So much better than a blowgun. Um, let's continue. We have no sanity anymore. Our sanity meter is basically dead. This isn't going to go well. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Seriously? Okay, that's freaky. Um, can we save? No. Um, God, we made it through. I might kill you in one hit. I don't want to test it. Seriously, stop with the freaky whispering. What? What? <laughs> wow. It just did... Oh, that is just legendary. Blue screen of death. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's a sanity effect. That is probably the best sanity effect in the entire game. I am so lucky I got that one. I've never had that before. But yeah, we're starting to lose health now. This is how it gets hard. If you're going to do a no sanity one. Um, I might have to start killing some people. Or it depends. I've got a load of healing left. So um, I should be fine. We can't heal yet. Yeah, I'm just going to start using that. But our character is really starting to go mental. You can kind of see the way she's walking around. And she's starting to speak to herself. Um, please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay. Right. Saving. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. When we come back, cults. Um, when we come back, we are utterly insane, and we're lost deep in a temple, and we just got a blue screen of death. Ah, oh, this game is going to be so good. You can just tell already with the blue screen of death. The doorbell calls.